This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can easily apply a drop shadow using Affinity Designer. So I'll go ahead and get started here. For this demonstration I'm going to use a text object, but you can use whatever object you'd like. This method works with virtually anything, but I'll be using text for this tutorial. So let me grab the text tool. Let me click and drag on the canvas to create some text. I'm going to write drop shadow. Let me press Control A to select all of that, and I want to change the font over here. I'm looking for... The font I'm working with today is called Milkshake. And let me just scale down the bounding box a little bit and scale that up. Grab the Select tool, position this in the center of the page. Okay, and now I just want to change the color of this so that it's not black. The drop shadows typically don't look very well on black objects, so I'm going to make this like a lighter shade of blue, something like this over here. Okay, so to apply a drop shadow to this object, all you have to do is come over here to where you see your Layers tab, click on the Effects tab, and what we're looking for is Outer Shadow right here. Just click on this little menu icon to expand that, and go ahead and tick that box, and it'll add an Outer Shadow, although it's not visible yet. What you want to do is come down here to where it says Radius and just bring that up a little bit. And if you notice, as I'm increasing that Radius, it's making the shadow behind the text increase, as you can see there. Now what you can do is you can take the opacity, if you want to make it darker, you could bring the opacity up, or you can bring it down if you want to make it a lighter shadow. If you want to bring this up, and if you want to bring the radius all the way down, well, we should probably change the offset first. So let me bring this up a little bit. Let me bring the opacity up a little bit as well. And the offset is the, uh, the distance from the shadow to the original object. So if I increase the offset, it's going to pull the shadow away from the object. So if you want, you could pull it away like that, bring the radius all the way down, and then you bring the opacity down, and you get more of like a softer shadow like that or more of a harder shadow, rather. If you want a softer shadow, you bring the opacity up, bring the radius up, and you get more of a blur in there like that. Now over here, the angle, you could change the angle of this drop shadow. If you click and drag, you notice it changes it in increments of 45 degrees. If you don't want to lock it to 45 degree angles, you can hold Shift on your keyboard and it'll change it around manually like that. Or if you'd like to move it manually, you can use the Offset tool, which is over here. Click on the Offset tool, and then just click and drag, and you can move this shadow to the exact location where you'd like it. Okay, and I like mine right about right about there. I think that looks pretty good. And what I'll do now is, what you can do now is you can just minimize this menu, go back to your Layers menu, and you can continue on working. You've created your shadow. Now this is still editable. If I grab the Text tool and click on this, I can add some more letters in there, as you can see, like that. Now if you want to remove the shadow at any point, just come back over here to your Effects tab and just uncheck the box that says Add Outer Shadow, and there you go, now it's gone. Okay, so that is how you can go about applying a drop shadow with Affinity Designer. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.